Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're finishing off uh, section 7.4 with the last example number 4, a word problem. All right, this is called a max-min problem. This is where we're going to start looking at these. So it says uh, members of the Ukrainian church hold a fundraiser every Friday night in the summer. They charge $6 for a plate of pierogi. They know from previous Fridays that 120 plates of pierogi can be sold. For each one price increase, uh, 10 fewer plates will be sold. What should the members uh, charge if they want to raise money for the church? So, first of all, we define the variables. So we're going to first we're going to let y represent the total revenue. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're uh, figure out y is going to be equal to. So y will equal the number of plates sold. Right, it's going to be two things. Right, to figure out the, the revenue. The revenue is going to be however many plates you sell by the price of each plate. Very simple, right? That's how you figure out how much money you bring in. You take however many you sell, by whatever the cost is. And you can do this vice versa, it's up to you. Okay? You can do price of each plate multiplied by the number you sell. It's, it's the same thing. Okay? So we'll also, we'll, we'll let, um, oh, sorry about that. We'll let X, represent the number of one dollar price increases okay and that'll help us determine our quadratic okay so the number of plates sold, they say that they sell 120 plates at $6, but for every time you increase the price by a dollar, there's 10 fewer plates. So the number of plates sold is going to change by 120, and for every dollar we increase, 10 people don't want to get it anymore, so it's 10 times X. All right, so we have 120 plates sold, and it says... There will be 10 fewer plates sold for every time we increase by one. The price of the plate is $6. And for every time we increase it by one dollar, it's going to go up. So X. And boom. There is your quadratic equation in factored form, mind you. So this is the quadratic function in factors form. Right there. Okay. Which is excellent. All right, so now what we do is set it equal to zero. Take care, set it equal to zero. So y, because we're finding the x-intercept, so that means we let each of these equal zero. So we take each factor, set it equal to zero. Okay, take each factor, set it equal to zero. So that would give me 120 equals 10x. So that means that x is equal to 12. 12, and this would be, I take the x to the other side, or take the 6 to the other side, oh, so that means x is equal to negative 6, okay, so when I have the two zeros, or the two x-intercepts, now I can use the axis of symmetry to find the vertex, so I plug in, uh, x1 and x2, 12 plus negative 6 would be 12 subtract 6 divided by 2, which is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. All right, now we're going to find the corresponding y value. So I take the right, original revenue equation, put in 3 for x.
And we solve. So the 10 times 3 gives us 30. 6 plus 3 is 9. Continue to solve. We got the 120 minus 30 is 90. 90 times 9 is 810. So what this means is, remember, uh, let's go back. What do you do? We found the answer. What does it uh, represent? So it means that, remember, x is 3. So x is the number of $1 increases. So if we increase the price three times by a dollar, so that would be six plus uh, uh, three one dollar increases. So six plus three is nine dollars. And we have the um, y value ended up being a ten. That'll give us a maximum revenue. The maximum revenue is to sell the plates for nine dollars each, and we'll end up selling ninety if we predict it. Uh, 90 plates and $9 a piece for a 10 as a maximum. Okay, um, so that's what that represents. So the coordinates of the vertex are 3 and a 10. So what does that mean? And I just mentioned before to generate a maximum revenue. Uh, the members of the church should charge, right, so the cost, right, remember it was right here, 6 plus 1, right, so the charge 6 plus 3 equal to uh, $9 for a plate of pierogies and don't we love pierogies I know I do and this will provide a maximum revenue of $810 which is pretty neat okay so that's it now there are some homework questions um, Page one, 391, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, ACE, 11, 16, and 20 is a real challenge, but give it a go. Hint, uh, use the home plate as the origin zero, 0, and it works out uh, a little better. Okay. So um, that's it for section 7.4. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any questions at all, please ask. Um, we'll talk to you soon when we start 7.5, solving quadratics by phrases by factoring. A little more factoring work. Thanks again. Talk again soon.